What's up guys, good morning, Rankets Clips here. Today I'm bringing you something a bit different, doing some casual content for all you WoW players. Now we all want to look good in the game, right? It's not just about big numbers. Ever since Blizzard's implementation of the transmog system, it's been kind of a big thing. So today I'm bringing you a little guide on this add-on called Mogget, showing you the basic setup and showing you how to use it basically. And as a bonus, I'm bringing you five different movie-inspired transmogs that you guys can use or you can get inspired by them. Now I won't be showing you how exactly to get the items because I think that's part of the fun is to actually get the items yourself. But I will show you the list and how I made them and you can base yourself off it or just use the whole thing. So let's get into it. Alright, so here's the basic lowdown on the add-on. Here's a little icon, you click it and there's a bunch of different options here for you. You basically get to choose whatever items you want, you get to save them up, but I'll show you. So on the modules, you have your wish list and you have all the different categories for the items. Now you click, let's say you want leather items, you click leather and it'll show you all the leather items that you can transmog. Huge list. You right click them, you can preview them, you can add them to a set or you can add them to your wish list, which will save them up and you can just quickly access it again. Now if you go to catalog and show filters, you are able to narrow down your search. So you can search for the name, say Death Mantle, which is one of the sets. You can search them by level range, item level, faction, classes, sources. So say you only want PvP transmogs, you can just get rid of all these. You can also narrow down the quality which is pretty neat because most of the times you're going to be looking for more from rare up which means that you want to take these out. Another neat thing you can do is you can change the you can change the dress model. Say I want to see how these transmogs would look in a night elf female. There you go. All the transmogs are here and now if you press the uh, if you press the preview, it'll show on your current character, but I'll show you how to set it up so it shows the whole set on the dress model that you want. So you go to Options, General, and use Preview Frame to dress up. You click OK, and now if I equip these, it's showing my current character, but here Preview, Race, and I just change it to what I want. There you go. So you can just dress it up as you want and it'll show the model. Alright. Aren't we excited? Okay, so now for your wish list, basically every time you save up an item, let's say I would save up this this helm here. Right at the wish list, it shows a little icon. You go to wish list and boom, here it is. And now one more thing for the sets, say I wanted to just do a basic transmog of a whole set, Death Mantle for example, here it is, I would just go add to set, new set, choose the name, Death Mantle, boom, just add all these items to the set, add to set, blah blah blah, here we go, alright. Go to wish list and here's your set. And now if you control click it, it just equips your whole set. So you can get original with whatever you're trying to do and then try that on different models. One more thing I didn't explain here is if you go to catalog sorting, you can sort them by level, approximate color, and you can also display the ID which basically shows where the item comes from so you can just better search for it. The colored feature is kind of whiffy, to be honest. Like, if I choose red, it usually gives me red items. But let's say I choose a more basic color, like black. See, that's not black at all. So yeah, it's kind of whiffy sometimes. But it might be useful if you're going for something of a certain color. There you go, see? Okay, so here's the first movie-inspired transmog that I'm going to show you guys. It's the Sith Lord transmog. Ooh, so original. Yeah. So I searched for a couple of these online, to be honest, and most of them showed some pretty basic colors on the armor. 
and I tried to change that a little bit, make it look a bit more robotic with these textures and all that. Now, blades are pretty much the standard, they kind of look like lightsabers, I guess, in a way. You got the mask, which kind of looks like a Sith Lord's mask. I would say it's a pretty cool one for rogues, but it's been kind of done a lot. I would say this one is a bit more unique because of the armor textures though, so I hope you enjoyed this one. Let's go to the other one. Alright, so here's the second one. I had a lot of fun doing this one because it was just throwing a bunch of different colors in. It's the Transformer Transmog. I got it on a Draenei model here, so it's it's kind of got that, you know, imposing look to it. So these are just a bunch of different items that have blue and red on them, and I just threw them on a character, and I think it looks pretty good to be honest. It kind of looked like Optimus Prime here. For the weapon I went for Calamity's Edge because I think it's got that primal look to it, but at the same time it looks sort of robotic. If you go to the description down below, I have a list of all the sets and all the items that I used for them. So you can just quickly load them up on your Mogget or check out online how to get them and you'll be able to copy the exact same mogs that I'm using here. Or at least base yourself off them if you want to do something which is relatively close. So this is a transformer, here it is. Try to make it look as robotic as possible and as metallic as possible. Alright, moving on to the next one. Raiden from Lord of the Rings. It's a pretty cool one for monks because Raiden is a monk. Yeah, so this was not that easy to do, to be honest. Now, one thing I gotta mention about this one, for the tavern that I'm using here, it's from WoW's trading card game, so it's not that easy to get. But if you search online, you'll find a couple of guides on how to get them, or you can just look for a, a similar tavern that's got the blue color to it, or you can just get your guild to make a blue tavern. Or the next one, we got the Predator Transmog. It's cool for hunters and chamois, I would say. I guess this makes more sense for hunters because Predator is a hunter. I'd try to give it a more primal slash metal -y look rather than use leather a lot. For the helm, I had a bunch of different options, but I went for this one because it just gives it that mean look and it sort of looks like the Predator's face. For the shoulders, you have two different options here. I use these ones which kind of have these, this effect which doesn't really go well with Predator. So you can also use these, which are a bit more bulky but got that primal look to them as well. Now the, this last one, I just sort of had some fun here. It's not really that similar to the real thing. It's from Ghostface from the movie Scream. Or if you haven't watched Scream yet, you'll know it from Scary Movie. I just threw this hat on it because it kind of looks like ghost face and then I just try to make it look as black and simple as possible and that's pretty much it. There's not a lot to explain about this one. I know it looks kind of silly. Alright guys, so this does it for our little transmog video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked the transmogs that I showed you. Drop a comment down below and say what you thought about them, if you think they look similar or not, what would you change about them, all that stuff. Don't forget, on the description you got the, the item list for all the sets that I showed, so you can do them exactly as I'm, I just showed you. Also, if you got your own unique and original transmogs, leave them down below in a comment, show some links, show us some love. And for all you old players, don't forget to check out KDOT's PvP guides. It's gonna be a series done. The first one is out, it's a simple one, but if you wanna get into PvP, if you're already in PvP and you wanna improve, I'm sure this guy can help you out. Check out his videos, it's right here on this channel. There's a link down below in the description as well. And I'll see you guys around.